Hello everybody, Wilder Ireland here. Just trying to do some sort of little uh, technical spot type deal here. Uh, full disclosure as usual. I've never done this before, so I'm not the expert. So you can tune out or whatever. But it's, I don't know, you might find it interesting to kind of um, start off with somebody who, who's, who's new at this. So basically, um, I did a, a video there recently. I put a link to it, um, a review of this particular trail camera. Um, the video is quite long because I tend to go on a bit. So you don't need to watch the whole video. I put a link to it. But what I basically say, I cover um, trail cameras in general. And that, that's what I'm going to talk about here. I'm not going to talk about this camera again. But I was saying one of the limitations of these trail cameras when it comes to... Um, wildlife enthusiasts or scientists, researchers, whatever, is that they were designed for hunting, for hunters, mainly deer hunters. And um, and that's the market they're, you know, they're aimed towards. We're just a tiny little niche market who, who've adopted these cameras. So there are certain things, like for example, I, I, would, I would prefer, at, at night this is limited to 20 second uh, duration. I, I would prefer a minute like I had on my other cheapo cameras, but the cheapo cameras just failed. So, um, but it's more to, to, for, I think it's for hunters to conserve battery power. And as I said, it's not a huge deal because you can just, uh, you can do a one second interval on this and you won't miss very much anyway, but I would still like that option. You know, I, I'd like to be able to decide what length I want the video to be. And I, I saw someone else on the forum recently saying the same, uh, so I think ideally, if, if they were designed for designing for us, which they won't be, I should imagine, because it's, you know, but a couple of things I would like to see, that would be one thing. It's not a major issue, but it would be nice to have the option to set the video length at night to whatever, you know, you want to do. So it's your decision. If it runs the battery out, it runs the battery out. That's for you to decide. But um, another thing that I've come across in a group that I had absolutely no interest in, and this is what I'm going to talk about. And this is something they could do with these cameras. If they were designed for, for wildlife enthusiasts, you know, it, it's not relevant if you're, if you're hunting deer, is they could include a set of lenses, close-up lenses, mac macro lenses, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I mean, they would be brilliant for people who, who, who are filming, you know, tiny little mammals, you know, t tiny, uh, you know, field mice or shrews or something. But also for people in their gardens who like to film their birds, garden birds, either at feeders or in, um, what do you call it, bird baths or in nesting boxes. Because these work fine, but you could get so much better footage if, if you could, you know, really get a close up. Um, and I said in that last video that... You know, I think these are fantastic for our purposes. Obviously, I've already said they're not, you know, 100% perfect. But if you accept that and accept that you will have to work around a bit, you know, they are, they are, you know, brilliant. I mean, as I said, they're weatherproof and, and the quality of video on these particular cameras uh, is very, very good. It's very high quality compared to the ones I had before anyway. Um, so there, uh, there is a workaround for this as well, if you want to put the effort in. And it's not expensive. So this is what I'm doing. This came up on this particular forum and I was kind of like, oh, look, I'm not into the hassle of all that. You know, like, I, and as I said, it's all personal. Some people will absolutely love this. And there's people on, on not the forum, it's a, what do you call it, Facebook uh, group, sorry. But, um, you know, they, if you're a keen photographer or filmographer, you know, you're going to love, you're going to really be into that kind of thing, you know. Um, for me, I just really want to find these animals. Part of the fun is just, tracking them down without killing them you know it's kind of hunting from the from the sofa maybe but and I want to record their different behaviors I, I'm not particularly bothered like if it's not perfectly like I mean I, I want it to be you know I want to enjoy it myself I don't want it to be all blurry but I mean I'm not looking for the perfect shot you know and that's those people that are you know fair play to them they're they're very skillful people and photographers are highly skilled i'm not having a go with them it's just as, as i said it's personal choice what you want from from what you're doing but anyway they kind of you know they kind of went well, maybe maybe i'll try it you know i, I could see myself you know just uh, if it's if it's going to add a lot of hassle I'm, i'll just drop it you know because you do need to measure the distance from the lens but i think it would be a nice little experiment and if anyone out there has never done it before you know um 
So that, yeah, not an expert. So anyway, to make um, a regular trail camera like this, to, to give you the option of, of adjustable lenses, um, I'm not a photographer, photographers would know all about this, but you can get a, a close-up lens kit, so it's a macro lens kit, and you get four uh, lenses, plus one, plus two, plus four, four, plus 10, means nothing to me, but obviously, each one is closer than the one before, or whatever, or vice versa. There's different sizes. Um, so let me just tell you what you need to do this. Now, you can just buy a kit from a couple of retailers in um, the UK. I will give you their names. Um, but I wasn't really that interested in it. And then I was ordering on, on Amazon Germany. I explained before with Brexit and all, you know, Amazon UK isn't just, it's too messy with all extra charges you could be liable for. I was ordering something else and I said, maybe I could get, get the stuff here. And sure enough, so this is what you need. You need this, uh, this is called black tack. And it, it basically is very strong kind of, I don't know if you call it industrial, but very strong blue tack and it's black, right? Now I did find this hard to get. They were out of stock on, uh, on Amazon Germany. I did have to order this from the UK, but I think it's, if it's under 20 euros or something, 22 euros or something, you won't get charged that. I forget exactly, but anyway. So uh, I got a cup, just two of these. I think one would have been enough, but anyway, because it was so hard to get, I said. So black tack, that's what you need. Then you need one of these guys. The photographers will know all about these. Now, if this is out of focus, don't worry, because you know what I'm like. Well, if you haven't seen my videos before, you don't, but I'm learning everything. Anyway, so the one you, this is called a lens adapter, I think, step up adapter. There's step up and step down. It's for people's cameras where they want to put in a lens, but their lens is the wrong. It doesn't matter anyway. It's irrelevant to what we want. What, what you want is um, 30.5 millimeter. Well, that was the smallest I could see. And I said, look how small this thing is. I don't want to be blocking all my lights. So I got a 30.5 millimeter and it, and it adapts to 37. And 37 is the size of the actual lenses. I got these Polaroid ones, right? Um, I'm making this sound complicated probably. Look, basically all it is, is these are your lenses. I'll take them out in a minute, but I've one already here, already made. And this is the adapter, which you're gonna put on here, sorry. I'm gonna put that on there with, uh, I think it's this way actually, with your uh, black tack. And then you can just screw the lenses in. See, simples. I haven't used them in the field yet, but, but you know, really simple. So you have the four lenses, right? This just happens to be uh, close up plus two. I'd probably be going for the plus one. It's the longest distance because I'm filming, you know, badgers and pine martens and things and foxes. So, but if you were going for smaller animals, you know, whatever. So, so you just black tack that on there. And the good thing about it is, you don't, it doesn't mean you're stuck, that camera doesn't have to stay as a close-up camera. You can just, you can just take this out, sorry, the lens part, take that out, and you can just leave that on there. And you, you'll be back to your normal, whatever, medium, long distance, whatever you want to call it. You're back to the regular trail camera, but you then have the option of putting one of these lenses in, you know? And of course, if you decide it's not for you, you can just take the black tack and everything off. I don't know, you might need a bit of alcohol to clear it up, Get it off i'm not sure but it's it's not a permanent thing i'll show you the lens kit thing so this is uh let me just open it up so it just comes in a little wallet and uh, you get your four lenses now there's one two three i have the other one on the on the camera which i'll show you um and these are all the different uh as i discussed Maybe I should put that there for you. I don't know if this is in focus and, and you can, it's probably a bit of shine there, but um, there's nothing really to see there. It's just telling you, look, plus one, plus two, plus four, plus 10, diopter lenses, they call them. And it's kind of just showing you a, an idea. See, there's plus one and it's the smallest, but obviously if you're filming a larger animal like I would be, it, it would be the one to use. But, and plus 10 is really, you know, really uh, a magnify a macro, you know, the highest level, um, closest, whatever the word is. Highest strength magnification, that's pretty what I'm trying to say, thank you. You probably already said it. Uh, 
so that's the Polaroid one and there you are 37 millimeter you can get these in all different sizes but I think with your trail camera okay all trail cameras are different but I think you probably want to be going for the smallest like I know my my other camera the Cam Park and the two guards had a bigger lens but I still don't I think the smallest you can get your hands on I actually I told you the adapter I got was 30.5 so 30.5 to 37 to fit that it was a bit hard to get that one but if you go on amazon i'm sure ebay as well these adapters i got you know they're dirt cheap they're you know chinese made i'm sure uh, um so yeah just look for that 35 to 37 because this is this is 37 you see this would be designed obviously for a camera that was 30.5 millimeters and then the 30 seven it would allow the 37 to go in but for us we're just you know this is a workaround we're just using the black tack so might as well use the smallest i think uh anyway so 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 you need to buy i'll just say again you need to get this black tack stuff you need to get your lens kit your four lenses i probably really only need the one but anyway and you need your adapter did i leave anything out i don't think i did these are about, I can't remember, they're 12 or 15 quid, uh, pounds or euros, I can't remember, they're not expensive. Um, these are dirt cheap, I can't remember how, back the, how much the black tech was, but it's not going to break the bank. Now your other option, as I said, is there's a couple of uh, trail camera specialist type uh, uh, retailers in the UK that will basically send you, sell you a little, basically your four lenses and they'll throw in the adapt the, the adapter and they'll give you some of this i don't know if there's that much or but I, I, definitely enough to do the four i'm sure there's plenty in it um i'm not sure you'll have to look at the prices i don't know if it might work out more expensive or might work out cheaper i'm not sure uh and it's um here i go again forgetting their names now uh, wild view cameras so just google wild view cameras they do the little kit and as does, oh, I think it's Wildlife Services UK. Let me just check. And I don't know which one is cheaper, guys, but you can obviously find out for yourself. Um, yeah, so you think I'd write these down at the start. So anyway, Wildlife Cameras, and I just want to double check that it's Wildlife Services UK for the, it's the other one. Yeah, Wildlife Services UK. Wildlife Services UK. They both sell them as a little kit, or you can do what I did and just order them separately on Amazon. You could probably get them cheaper on eBay, I don't know. Um, now, I know you're all dying to see this. I had a go with this. And I, and I was saying to somebody on the Facebook uh, who's quite into this, that there's a picture on Wildview cameras, they, they have a photo of one and it's lovely and neat. And I said, mine is gonna look like a, you know, a cow, a cow bloody put a, a cow pat on it. It looks pretty crap, but it doesn't look too bad. But anyway, once the lens is clear, so this is my effort. Now I didn't go too much effort. Gee, I bet you it looks ridiculous. But anyway, the main thing is it's covering the lens. That's all that matters. Um, now, if I was fussy, I could mess around with this till the cows come home. Speaking of cows, speaking of cow pats. But I'll just see, just can you see this? I have my hand in the way. It's a, so there you go. So that just screws off. So you can leave it off and you're back to your normal lens, or you can put on a different uh, magnification on it, you know, if, if you're changing what you're at, what you're filming, sorry. Um, so I think some people might really get a bit of a kick out of this. I, I might as well. I don't know. Like, I have seen people use them for, you know, larger animals like uh, like I'm filming you know badgers and pine martens and you can get great detail you know because I've noticed um I like to film pretty close I, I have the camera low to the ground and you know when when Marty the pine martin or, or the badgers are up close it, they do get a little bit blurry because I, I don't think the cameras you know as I said they're not really made for that now it doesn't really bother me once they're not completely out of focus I mean that would annoy me but um, 
but for some people that is important and and and, and i understand i mean it, it's uh you know and for photographers of course i mean they want their pictures absolutely perfect or, or filmographers um so but i am interested so how it works actually i left that out well i didn't i didn't is their specific each lens has a suggested distance now, i'm going to be very cheeky but you'll see it um, on on the, on uh, those retailers have it on on their website but um i'm going to tell you what the distances are but you can look them up on uh a wide view uh, cameras have it on, on when, you know when you find these um just just look for this product and they have it and and um wildlife services has it as well but he has a picture of the package i think and it has the distances on it but just to, just so you know ahead of time yeah you must love waiting for me to find all these things i thought i had this key, this keyed up for you da, 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 sing a song now ah, let's see Yeah, I found them now. Now, so it says the approximate distances of camera to your subject for best focus. Um, and I've seen people come. It, it is really important to try. You know, obviously you're dealing with animals, um, but to try and get these as accurate as you can. So for the plus one lens, your subject should be 42 inches away. For plus two, 21 inches. For plus four, 10 inches. And for uh, plus 10, four inches. So I'll say that again in case you want to write it down or something. Plus one, 42 inches. Plus two, 21 inches. Plus four, 10 inches. Plus 10, four inches. Um, so basically, what I'll have to try and do there is I'm always saying I only feed them once a week because I don't want them to get habituated to me. But that's, you know, everyone has their own views on that. I'm not saying that's the right way or the wrong way. But I'll have to try and put, put food, you know, at those distances um, and see what happens. But the bloody Pine Martins have, have a habit of, Marty and Martina, sometimes they reverse and you get their backside in your face. <laughs> they don't approach it from the other side, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um... But it will be an interesting experiment. I mean, if it doesn't work for me after one or two goes, I know I'll be done with it. But, um, uh, oh, and that was one other slight thing. You see here, now all these cameras are different. So you're going to have to see what your camera, how it's set up and whether this is going to cover. This very slightly, hardly, hardly at all covers a little bit of the, you see the LEDs are different on these browning from, from the ones I had before. The, the cam park and the two guard had, had like 30 or 34 tiny little LEDs. These have like four. They're very powerful actually. But anyway, um, so it's just slightly covering, uh, let me see, slightly covering there and there. But another person on that um, uh, Facebook page, like, and I'm not gonna be getting that fussy with it, but the, she um, she's a perfectionist. And, uh, and if she's watching this, she knows who she is. But um, I think she covers one or two of the LEDs because it, it can kind of, you get some sort of like white out or whatever you call it, you can overexpose or something. But um, but that's basically it. Like, I mean, this could have been done much neater, but anyway. Um, oh, and there's two views on this. One is you should seal it completely. I mean, with the black tack. But this person I just referred to suggests you put a couple of holes at say five o'clock and seven o'clock to uh try and reduce condensation if it's that kind of you know damp weather that the lens might fog up but i guess that's trial and error type thing anyway but um yeah so i hope that made a bit of sense and um as i said i'm just trying it out and um but if, if you want to, you know, try and get something, uh, you know, ad adapt these trail cameras more to what you're doing. I mean, it's 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 not an ex it's a, it's definitely not expensive, you know, to, to try these lenses out. And I mean, I'm, I'm, as I said, a lot of people on, on that group absolutely love them and they basically have them on pretty much all their cameras and they do get fantastic um, both still photos and, and videos. So um, I'd say for some people it would be a game changer. 
But anyway, there it is. Um, I, I'll try it on, on one or two of the cameras, see how I get on. Um, but if it doesn't work out, it's probably going to be more down to me and my lack of patience than anything else. Because I, I've seen, as I said, I've seen evidence of, of uh, to prove it does work. And I think it would be fantastic in gardens. And another, th another example would be hedgehogs. A lot of people, uh, well, in the UK, a lot of people um, not only feed hedgehogs, but they have, they've bought little or made little hedgehog houses. So they actually have the, the hedgehogs, as in, hedgehogs, sorry, in their gardens. And um, and it's hilarious. Like they 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 sometimes have a few of them, and they they um, and they all get it go into the little house. I mean, it's 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 brilliant, especially if uh, if you're not near other wildlife. But it would be great for for filming the hedgehogs as well. I think, um, you know, now some of them have like with with the nest boxes where you can get the cameras. They have cameras in 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 the uh, actual hedgehog house. But um, this would be great for getting them feeding. You know getting close up to them. Anyway, that's it. Look, uh, um, I think I'll leave it there. And I don't know if you noticed, but I'm actually using a, I think it's called a vlogging kit. I know, I know it is. I didn't know what vlogging was until about three weeks ago, but I bought this little action camera, mainly for filming the Connemara ponies. Um, and they just happened to say that this one, this camera also made, it's an Osmo, DJI, DJI Osmo Action. So now a couple of years, anyway, they said it was great for vlogging. But I'm not technically vlogging because for vlogging, it's basically, now all you, all you uh, with it people out there know what vlogging is. But, um, but for the old farts, um, it's just basically a video blog. If you don't know what a blog is, well then we have to go back a bit further. But anyway, it's like a diary type thing, but where you actually video yourself. And, but I, I have my little, I got a little external mic and you can see I have a light here, which, which no doubt I, I have on, it, it's too bright or not bright enough, whatever. Anyway, but to make some effort, you know? So, uh, so I'm going to be the invisible vlogger. You know, it's a new thing. But anyway, guys, uh, all the very best. If you're interested in anything on this channel, please subscribe or, or let people know. There's, a, as I said on my last video, there's all sorts of stuff. I'm doing a lot of stuff with Connemara ponies. Um, loads of uh, trail camera footage of various species. Uh, wildlife talks. Um, some of it's pretty serious stuff. I'm going to be doing some more on badger culling in Ireland. Uh, but lots of kind of lighthearted stuff as well. A few parodies, but you, know, you can probably ignore those. I don't think they're, they're, um, it's, it's more like online therapy for me. I think, sorry to inflict you with it, but, um, but if you're interested at all, yeah, there's, there's a mixed uh, variety of stuff, wildlife related. Um, and yeah, I'm, I've another, I'm going to do another one of these, um, in a week or two or something else that, that you might find interesting for trail camera guys and girls and uh I, i'm gonna get this badger i'm waiting to do something on the badger calling and if i don't get what i need um i might go ahead and just do a video um do the video anyway and i can always do a follow-up video if, if i get my hands on i just wanted to show you some some something uh to try and bring it home um but i mean you can just look at videos i suppose and photos it's, it's uh and that's it i'll keep putting up the trail camera footage and I'm hoping once a week to put up for the for people who like the Connemara ponies. There's two Connemara pony herds that come come into land near me. Uh, they stay for the summer and autumn. Uh, you can check out the Connemara Pony Days in Ireland 2020. That was last year, and I just started this year. So they've just arrived, and um, so yeah, once a week we, we I'll put a video up of that. Uh, so that's pretty much it, it anyway on this one so uh, I'll put a link to that uh, review of that camera but as I said look if you're not into a camera review it's I think I pretty much covered it actually there's no need to look at it unless you want the camera review because I, I, I explained uh, already about the um, what trail cameras were designed for and how you have to kind of work around it a bit sometimes if, if you want to you know to, to work perfectly for you that's it adios uh, thank, thanks a million take it easy I said adios before, uh, yeah, goodbye.